How's it going guys? It's your boy Lieutenant Dan here with Unintentional Grounding Falcons film breakdown on Caleb McGarry versus Cameron Jordan or well any Saints player that decides they want to wander into the trap that is Caleb McGarry during pass protection. Um, but yeah, um, Cameron Jordan versus Caleb McGarry. I was watching this during the game and then people kind of sort of hyping it up just a little bit over the week, uh, kind of keying in on what the Falcons offensive line was able to do against the New Orleans Saints vaunted pass rush um and honestly this was really bizarre to see Caleb McGarry a, a first year player taking on Cameron Jordan or well a slew of Saints defenders but mostly Cameron Jordan and winning <laughs> and 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 really I it was confusing it was very very confusing that being said Please hit that like button, hit that notification bell, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you share this content out to your friends and family. Hit that share button, share it out to Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you want to share it out to. Um, I deeply appreciate if you would do that for me. Um, make sure you go in the comment section, uh, comment on Caleb McGarry, comment on the, on the video quality and, and what we could do better. Um, and also comment on this mustache. I, is the mustache game good? Is it good? Anyway, that being said, let's get into this film breakdown. First, we're going to do something on slow-mo, and then we're going to run through plays. i got about seven plays, eight plays that I want to do. I'm going to try to condense it a little bit. But uh, Cam McGarry on your left-hand side of your screen, and you're going to see an attempt to chop by Cameron Gordon and dip. And Cam McGarry is going to get his hands initially in. He's going to make his steps out, get his hands in, pounce, and then there is no dip for Cameron Jordan. And the pass is able to get out. So let's look at that in full speed. And, and here's that full speed look for you right here. On the left-hand side of your screen, chop, try to dip, nope, nothing. Absolutely zero. Interesting that Caleb McGarry is now going after players. Now going, boom, I'm, I'm taking control of this. You try to you know, chop and dip and rip and spin and whatever you want to do, and I'm just going to grab right onto you. Let's get on to the next play. This is just another basic example of um, uh, Caleb McGarry seeing the same exact move, but um, done from a wider angle, um, as well as this is the touchdown pass to Austin Hooper. This is just a move he's already seen at this point above my head here. Um, and, and honestly, he's just, he had keyed in on this. Cameron Jordan is a very quick and, and, and crafty individual. And like on this play right here, you see, you know, the swipe down, then the attempt to speed rush on the outside. Caleb just pushes him right out of the way. Touchdown, Austin Hooper. Um, there was there was an attempt here to say that he was he was a, a false start had happened, but no flag had happened there. So um, honestly, looking at this play, you know, a hundred times over, it's just one of those. You knew Cameron Jordan was coming. You stopped him. He goes for the underarm hook. Uh, uh, or excuse me, overarm hook and then swipe away. Um, and this had just already been pushed right out of the way. There was no way that he was getting to Matt Ryan at that point. Right here is uh, just a very quick short clip here of, of Jamon Brown and Kayla McGarry. I'm gonna highlight them on the screen. Taking away a stunt from the defensive tackle that's here playing at what I would consider, what is this, four eye, almost three tech. Um, and Cameron Jordan, we were gonna stunt across each other. So Cam's gonna come to the inside. Um, and number, what is it, 98 is going to be here on Jamon Brown. Jamon Brown's going to step to the inside here. Uh, Caleb McGarry's going to stand tall. He's just going to have a little tiny, you can't even really tell, a little tiny step to the inside. And then once they identify that stunt, both guys are going to do great technique and step, step condense and then step out and be able to take both their guys down. Again, just... For prosperity stake above me here. Uh, you're going to see the stunt happen. Uh, boom, Caleb and Gary. Boom, Jamon Brown. Uh, so that, you know, they can keep that pocket clean. Uh, again, look at Jamon Brown here. The communication between Caleb McGarry and Jamon Brown. Right here identifying that I can step back. I can go, okay, where is Cameron Jordan? Okay, here comes Cameron Jordan. Now I can come back to my area of the field, which is this little box here, um, and be able to take on Cam. Kale and Gary completely manhandles his guy. Once he gets hands on him, Jamon Brown only has to envision what's going on and visualize what's going on with Jordan. If Jordan takes the outside crease, he pushes Kale and Gary to the outside. Um, and then if he comes in with stunt, then he can just settle down and anchor in 
uh, and, and get ready for that hit. And that's exactly what happens here. Uh, kind of just anchors in and gets that hit done. So a little, a little, a little long on the explanation there, but I wanted to show you exactly where things went. When pass rushers are having issues with the technical aspects, pass rushing aspects of it, there are two go-tos in any arsenal that you can immediately have an impact on the field. Either one of them can be easily dealt with, but one of them is the bull rush or the power rush. And the other one is the speed rush, or I guess you would call that outside bend. Um, I'm not gonna say that I know the actual term for that. Uh, but for those of you that do know that term, please go into the comment section, tell me what is that term? Is it just speed rush? Is it just a bend? Anyway. Point is, Cameron Jordan on the right-hand side over here against Kevin Garrett. Uh, this is actually the only, only, only pressure. There's actually two of them, but only pressure that I saw that actually had Matt Ryan in increased danger. Um, one was a hit. This one was a hurry. Let's get to it. On the right-hand side of the screen or above me, you're going to see Cameron Jordan go against Kevin Garrett. This is a speed rush right across. This one actually works. He's been working on this all game, and it finally works. What's interesting about this is that of the wide angle here, Caleb McGarry, he didn't step out enough. He didn't step out enough to be able to combat this. And he's actually sat down to be able to com combat it. It worked the first couple times because Cameron also used a couple of moves in it, chopping and whatnot. This is just a simple swim over and, and continue to speed. Speed to the outside. This was something that McGarry had problems with in college. Speed rushers got around the edge, and they beat Caleb McGarry. In this instance, this is still something that I think that McGarry is going to have to learn a little, bit, a little bit more about because that punch, that initial punch that you see right there, it's not going to be effective enough to stop a speed rusher. The speed rusher is still just going to continue to go to the outside like you saw here and is going to create pressure. Now, this is that anchoring stance when it does work, and this is actually the wheelhouse of Caleb McGarry, uh, you know, run run blocking and, you know, sitting down on bull rushers. And in this instance, you have Caleb McGarry here on the right-hand side of the screen, and you have a bull rush from Cameron Jordan, which is interesting. Again, um, this time it actually does work. You see Cameron Jordan come right in and go to hit Caleb McGarry right in the mouth, and McGarry stands him right up for nothing absolutely nothing there was nothing that that could potentially do to scare matt ryan out of his stance or make him throw a, a a bad pass the actually the the pressure comes up from the middle from number 55 as you see on the screen so actually that's that's uh <laughs> that's that's james carpenter <laughs> um yeah well, well, well th this video is not about him it's about caleb mcgarry mcgarry stands tall against cameron jordan this is the stance that we saw on the speed rush that didn't work, but against this bull rush, it does completely work because you can sit down and you anchor and you can take him right out of that spot. So before I get out of here, I just want to give uh, one more film uh, clip here for you guys. Kind of show you uh, Cam Jordan kind of just flailing his arms around. Um, <laughs> this is the touchdown pass to uh, Brian Hill. And on this particular pass here, Cam Jordan's going to come off of the left-hand side. You're going to see him uh, do, I think, two swipe moves here. And McGarry ain't having any of it. He's just, he's not having any of it. Swipe, 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 nothing. Nothing. Absolutely, gosh darn nothing. Let's look at it again. Just swiping and swiping and swiping. And McGarry's like, no. No, it's, it's not going to happen. Look, guys, I uh, I appreciate you guys coming through and taking a look at this video. Um, please check out the rest of the videos that are on the channel for film breakdowns. Um, check out some of our live streams that happen during the week. I'm going to be taking the uh, the weekend off uh, from any film breakdowns and whatnot. There might be some other stuff. Matt Ryan film breakdown um, for you guys. Um, but that being said, rise up, stay grounded, take it easy. Uh, you're listening to nothing but the facts and truth from your boy Lieutenant Dan here at Unintentional Grounding. Um, I hope you enjoyed everything that was here, and I hope to see you again real, real soon. Peace and hair grease.